So we even got Leo and we got Scorpio. These are two zodiac signs that's very similar. They both strive for power, intensity, and of course, passion. See, Pluto governs the Mars perspective. Also, Pluto is a far out planet, which means it's not in its rim of reality. So all Scorpios are actually Aries. So this is going to be a circumstance situation where Leo is exalted in this position. So of course, Leo is going to love the Scorpio. Leo is going to strive for the Scorpio. Also, Scorpio is pretty much behind the scenes. So when it comes to, you know, being center stage, they don't really care about these things. They love to do these things behind the scenes because they are feminine signs. All feminine signs are basically be behind the scenes. Unless they have some intensified personality with inside of them. And of course, they will express these things. But of course, when they do express these things, it's always going to be the Scorpio being like, yo, wait, hold on. Fall back a little bit. And of course, this is what's basically bringing the tension between each other and the two. So, if you got Leo, the Scorpio, 10 times out of 10, this is going to be a square, which means they got to learn how to deal with each other, got to learn how to think, communicate, intellect, and of course, socialize with each other and basically build a bond together, which means that it's all good to basically be in a relationship. All signs is compatible, but what these two individuals got to understand and understand, they got to learn how to basically dis separate the power and controlling issues, feel me? See, the Scorpio want all the power and control. And that's pretty much pretty much putting darkness on the sun. And now the sun wanna shine. The sun want all the attention. The sun also want power too. Because it's exalted in Mars. So of course it wanna be seen and it wants to basically have control and passion. It wanna be sitting stage. But Scorpio, they don't wanna be the sitting stage. For me, they wanna be behind the scenes. They wanna basically control the things. See these two individuals are gonna fuck real good and bad. Sex is gonna be powerful, it's gonna be extreme. Also, the way they, they trust issues it's going to basically take time for them to basically learn between each other but of course if they're very upfront and personal and they're very odd they are very direct and upfront and personal if they can basically do this in the beginning they won't have these issues also this is going to be a circumstance situation where these two individuals the way they think communicate intellect analyze is very deep and of course they got to learn how to basically connect and communicate with each other feel me? sometimes communication can be very you know irritated at times too for me which means that Certain emotions don't really mix and mingle with certain other emotions that the Leo and the Scorpio are basically throwing towards each other. So this is pretty much going to be like a tug of war situation scenario, feel me? It's going to pretty much be like there's a trillions of guns right here on the table. But of course, they don't know how to basically take it to action on how they should basically use these guns, feel me? They're going to have all the guns in the world, but of course, the way they use these guns can pretty much hurt and destroy the world. So it's kind of like the power got to be pretty much concealed in a way where they can basically try to cooperate with each other not go at each other